Avid Academy first began in 2006 with just one summer program, Math Olympiad. Today, Avid has expanded to include over 30 summer programs. This week, we take a look at Avid's inaugural program, Math Olympiad, which aims to get students excited about math by challenging and pushing them to think beyond what they're used to seeing in schools. Math Olympiad caters to 4th through 6th grade students. Students who started in Math Olympiad at a young age have gone on to complete the most rigorous math courses at their high schools and have been accepted into top universities in the nation. The basic idea is that if a students who are working on simple stuff and you give them the next level of simple stuff, it does not really challenge them. They may move up to the grade, but they don't, do not appreciate mathematics and they do not know how to do the best. And so I try to change that. And uh, I look at the uh, Mass Olympia as a training. I treat math just like sports. Answer? 15. 15. Okay, so here's the strategy to do this one very fast. I like how they give us strategies that we can learn to use in our after, like in our future. Ways to make something that you should normally take 10 minutes to do and make it like two minutes. Like before I would give up, but now I'm more patient. My philosophy of teaching is that you should get students engaged. They should be asking questions. They should be answering questions. Uh, they should be the ones that are doing the heavy lifting during the lessons. And so I believe in challenging rigorous word problems and I believe in getting kids to do the thinking. Um, during the lesson. Uh, Malcolm Gladwell, one of the researchers that studied uh, people that are really famous, said that everyone needs to put in at least 10,000 hours before they become really good at whatever it is that they do. And so for kids that want to become engineers, architects, wh whatever it is that requires math, then putting in the 10,000 hours at this point is really good. The difference between students who really excel long term and students who don't is that willingness to work hard, that willingness to when they reach a problem they don't give up, they keep going and working at it until they get there. And being open-minded, listening to what the other students have to say, what the teachers have to say, what the TAs have to say, and really working together. This side, I want to see who gets the first on this side, okay? Let's go. All right, ready? I think I want them to remember to be nice to one another and also to work hard. Um, I want them to remember kind of the underlying sort of principles, like when we're learning mathematics, it's not just about the math, it's about persevering through a problem, it's about grit, um, it's about the character skills that you acquire as you work through challenging problems, don't give up and you just kind of tackle them, um, so, so be nice, work hard, overcome your challenges. We want to teach our students the value of not giving up, okay? try to help, work hard, and that's really what we want students to achieve to learn from their, um, through their study of problem solving, through their hard work, to learn the ability to, to be tenacious in facing the life lessons.